Balancing games is not easy. Yeah, Riot, I think, is doing a pretty good job right now with Valorant. Because if you take a look at all the classes, most of them are in a pretty good spot. Let's start with the Duelist class, where there is perhaps a problem with Neon. We all know about it. But still, if you look at the pick rates, Neon has seen a decent amount of play. But still, so are Raze and Jet. Also, Yoru is still seeing some play, and whilst we know that Rainer and Phoenix have kind of always been the black sheep of the Duelist class, Rainer, of course, is just a bit of a ranked agent, and we know that Phoenix is getting that buff, though, that will hopefully see Phoenix getting some playtime as well. The Initiator class has generally always been pretty healthy for the most part, and whilst there was probably some worries about this past season about where Sky fits into all of this, with the return of Split early on, it looks like Sky will be seeing quite a bit of play across Bind and Split, and therefore, hopefully, the Initiator class will be in a pretty good spot. For the Sentinel class, of course, you've got Kildra and Cypher still doing their thing. Chamber recently got a buff. Deadlock is still seeing fringe play, and Vice is even starting to see quite a bit of experimentation from different teams as well, so that's really good. And Sage is the kind of one outlier, but we know that Sage is also going to get a buff, hopefully pretty soon. And then in the controller class, you've got Astra, Omen, and Viper, who are all feel pretty strong to play right now. And Clove, whilst maybe not the greatest at the highest levels of the game, is still one of, if not the best, ranked agent. But that just leaves one. One agent. Who perhaps isn't in the best of spots, and there really isn't too much hopium to say about them right now. And that's Harbor. And Harbor is in a bit of trouble because if you take a look at the ranked win rates and play rates harbor has generally been the bottom of the play rates and one of the bottom of the win rates in ranked for a very long time not only that now the icebox has been removed as well in terms of pro play the outlook does not look so good for harbor but the thing is the devs have mentioned harbor but a buff isn't coming anytime soon. We also see some other spots on the roster that are in need of some tuning, particularly among some of our weaker Sentinels and our controllers. We know a lot of you will be expecting harbor changes with this patch, but unfortunately they're taking a little bit longer since we think he needs larger scope work and we're still exploring our options here. So we know that Riot wants to buff harbor, but it seems like they are struggling to come up with the correct solution. But why is that the case? And what are they likely to do instead? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. So first, why are Riot struggling, right? Well, let's take a look at Harper's kit, shall we? He's got the, the wall, of course, that you can curve around and whatnot. This is a signature ability or a smoke. His second ability is, you know, a wall that he can push and stop and it stays there for a while or another smoke. And his third ability is a cove, which is, uh, you know, a little orb that keeps you safe from bullets for a bit. But essentially, it's just another smoke. And right there, I think you're seeing the problem of why it's hard to buff this agent because Harbor doesn't have many play patterns because all of his three abilities that you're going to have every round are essentially all just smokes. And when you compare this to other agents in the game and think about the numerous play patterns that they might have and the different dials that you can turn, let's consider Omen, right? Obviously, Omen, yes, does also have smokes here, smokes that he can probably do a little bit more than Harbor can, but he also has a TP, which is more kind of like maybe a duelist ability. He also has the paranoia, which of course is more maybe of an initiator kind of ability. So there are more different dials and different play patterns that you can tune with Omen. If you don't like how, you know, kind of aggressive and duelist he feels, you can nerf the Shrouded Step if you wanted to, right? If you don't like... The, the initiating power of the paranoia, you can nerf that and it's very different than nerfing the smokes and there's different dials that you can turn and different play patterns that you can encourage or discourage by tuning these different abilities. And so that is Harbor's main problem, that instead of having a bunch of little dials that you can all turn to find the right balance, Harbor essentially just has one big dial that is, do you want to make the smokes better or do you want to make them worse? And that's not an easy way to balance an agent. And not only that, Harbor also has some fundamental problems with his smokes compared to the other controllers. The first one, which has always driven me absolutely mad, is the fact that you, as a teammate, get slowed any time you run through Harbor's wall. This should never be a thing, right? Harbor's whole thing is smokes. Well, why am I being punished as a teammate for running through this smoke? A smoke that is hard to control and hard to get perfectly right all of the time as well, that I might need to run through more so than an Astro or an Omen smoke, right? I might need to run through this, and yet I'm getting punished for it. This has never felt great to me. And the second thing that is tough with Harbor is that my teammate is struggling over right towards there. the C site, let's say, and I'm on this side of B, so I'm not even that far away. With Omen or Astro, I could very easily right just there. pop down a smoke, give them some help. But with Harbor, if I'm on this side, I might not be able to, right? I can't reach them. I can't get there. And even if I can reach them, the time that this wall gets there might be too late as well, right? So I'm just limited, particularly on the defensive side, with what I can actually do with my smokes in general. And so that means that basically, even though I'm playing an agent that is all smokes, you're still never really able to play Harbor as a solo controller because on the defensive side, you're not probably going to be able to smoke off what you want to. 
So how would you go about buffing Harbor? Well, let's talk about first something that we haven't talked about whatsoever, which is Harbor's ult. And Harbor's ult is pretty good, right? So it's a pretty good ult in general, I would say. And it costs seven costs, and of course you could buff it in a many different ways, right? You could make it six cost. You could make, you know, the, the stun last longer, whatever. I think that they would be hesitant to do so, though, because, of course, with the Cove, Harbor is going to be an agent that plants the spike and diffuses the spike a lot. And so by giving Harbor a very good ult, you run the risk of that ult kind of just taking over the game. And I think, in general, we've seen that Riot doesn't want as many ults in the game. They don't want to see, you know, someone ulting all of the time and potentially having a really, really strong ult. So I doubt they want to do that. So that basically leaves us with just buffing the other three abilities. And another problem that Harbor has, of course, is that the controller class right now is really quite good, right? Omen, Astra, and Viper are probably all, you know, decently high A tier to S tier agents right now. And so, you know, it's not going to be easy to crack even if you do buff Harbor. You might need significantly buffing because of how good the controller class is right now. And so we know that Harbor is not easy to buff, probably needs a pretty significant buff as well. And also we're probably not going to be looking at the ult and probably looking at those main three abilities instead. So what are we going to do? Well, normally Riot tends to go for numbers tweaks, right? They make things last longer. They make, you know, something bigger or whatever, right? But as we kind of heard them talking about, those perhaps more simple solutions don't seem to be working and I think you can understand that that if you did just numbers tweak with some of these harbor abilities it probably wouldn't be a significant enough buff or would make it blatantly OP and way too strong right and so those are off the table and so we're probably looking at more of a kind of bigger redesign in mind which is something that Riot you know I don't think wants to do a lot of the time but will do when necessary as we've seen with some agents in the past. Now, of course, when it comes to redesigning agents, there is so many different things that Riot could do, right? They could make completely different abilities, and I'm not here to predict what those would necessarily be. But here are some things that I think they might do, and please let me know what you think or you might do in the comments down below as well. But here are just a couple ideas that I had. The first of these ideas concerns Harbor's signature ability, the wall, which in my opinion in general is just sometimes a little too difficult to fully control of where you want it to be. And you'll end up with smokes that, you know, don't quite hit the mark quite as, you know, you would really want to all of the time. And so I think that this is something that they might want to look at changing as well. It's just how the level of control that you have over this wall and making sure that you have, you know, the correct smoke that you actually want rather than, you know, leaving some gaps and potential allowing your opponent to outplay you because you slightly missed your wall. The way that I think you could fix this is instead of having Harbor just, you know, send out the wall kind of as he does right now, have a mini map come up like it does for so many other controllers and you essentially draw on where you want the wall to go, right? And then Harbor will do it for you and then, you know, you'll get the animation of him doing that. That would give you significantly more control over where you want the wall and, you know, allow you to probably do some much more creative things with the wall in general which would probably be kind of really cool. Another option that they could do is to have a fuel-like mechanic somewhat like Viper. Of course, Viper has the wall and the orb both attached to the fuel and the fuel goes down at a certain rate, depending if you've got both up or one up or none up and it recharges and all of that. This could be a way of trying to help Harbor because it gives you more flexibility in terms of what you actually want to do. So for instance, you probably wouldn't have two Cascades, you would just have a Cascade ability that comes back every so often, and it would cost you, say, 20 fuel to use a Cascade, right? And you use one Cascade, and it could mean that you then get to use four Cascades in a round if you want to. But that means that you don't get to use, you know, your signature ability, right? Or a Cove could cost maybe, you know, 35 of your fuel. And that means that potentially for a retake, you can get two Coves down, right? You could put one Cove down, tap the spike, you know, they destroy it, you put down another one, and you stick the spike the second time, right? And that costs you quite a bit of your fuel, right? Maybe 35, 40 of your fuel. And that means that you don't really have, you know, like a wall, the wall could only go a tiny amount, right? So you might only have a wall that goes like this long because that's only the fuel you've got left. But in this way, you can be more deliberate with what you want to do. You can play it to the round that you're in, right? Maybe having two coves is better than having a wall in a certain situation. These kind of decisions that you could then make would give you more flexibility, more control of how you want to play the round. Or of course, they could just completely change an ability, at which point I have no idea what that would be. But please let me know what you think in the comments down below. How would you go about fixing Harbor?